Now we have studied the hydrides of group 15 elements. We have studied the halides of group 15. Let's come back and learn oxides of group 15. So whenever we are learning oxides, so basically you are going to study about oxides of nitrogen and oxo acids of uh, phosphorus. Very, very important structures. You have to first learn the structures. How many ever times you can practice, please practice the structures. Very important for your exam. <coughs> whenever you are speaking about oxides of nitrogen, let's pick up. The first oxide of nitrogen is nitrous oxide that is N2O the second type of oxide oxide this oxygen done this oxide the second type is nitric oxide that is capital N capital O third one nitrogen trioxide N2O3 the last one, uh, not the last one, the fourth one. We still have, we are going to light all the structures. The fourth one, nitrogen dioxide NO2. Let us come back and learn all the resonance structures of that. So, when I have to write the nitrous oxide structure, basically you have nitrogen to start. Nit resonance structures to stabilize themselves. Start from this, nitrogen N double bond N then single bond O start because around ni nitrogen or the, the octet should be filled isn't it now this is going to show a resonance structure double sided arrow now you have double bond here <coughs> done so here just observe carefully this is double again this also is double I'll tell you why just remember during resonating structures or resonance structures one bond from here is going to shift here how does this look nitrogen triple bond nitrogen single bond oxygen okay, let us take out this arrow now now fill in the Lewis dot uh, this in uh, electrons for this nitrogen 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 octet done so it's stable now for this oxygen 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 done <clears throat> for this nitrogen already 4 are here already 4 are here this is stable molecule so that is why we have written drawn both double bond on both the sides now when it shows a resonance structure that is delocalization of pi electrons now count for this this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 done for this nitrogen already 6 are there 7 8 this is also done I have to count for oxygen 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now observe carefully <coughs> earlier it was double and double here this has become triple and single that is not uh, nothing but resonance isn't it this is how you are going to draw the resonance structure let's come back and draw for nitric oxide oxides we have already learned first three let's come back and see the next three so after that uh, earlier one where uh, we have drawn the structure of nitric oxide nitrous oxide and uh, the next uh, oxide form let's come back and do NO2 is nitrogen dioxide This is nitrogen tetroxide or dinitrogen tetroxide. And this is nitrogen pentoxide. Okay, if you don't want to write better, don't I'll not confuse you. Nitrogen tetroxide, nitrogen pentoxide. Okay, now done. Let's come back. So, when I have to draw the structure of these, we've already seen N double bond O in earlier example. Here also same thing. So, I draw the nitrogen, two of one side, one oxygen, the other side, one more oxygen. Now, when I have to draw the resonating structures, here you have placed the oxygen, double bond, shift this to this direction. So, what do you get? N double bond O, single bond O. Resonating structures. So when I have to fill the electron, you have to be a little bit careful here. 1, 2, 3, 4, <coughs> 5, 6, 7, 8. Done. For this, already 2 are there. This is 1, this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now nitrogen, <coughs> odd electron species. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Odd electron species. We have already studied in this example, particularly <coughs> metal and odd electron species in the in grade 11. Also, you have studied uh, the compounds of nitrogen, nitrite, nitrate. So, odd electron, you have to mention that electron that for that you will get mark done. Here, the same thing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, for this, already 4 are there 5, 6, 7, 8. 
for this nitrogen same story or electron this is how you are going to draw now when i have to draw the tetraoxide what do they give me n2o4 so one nitrogen one nitrogen both you have four oxygen atoms around nitrogen link it with single bond so either you can place double bond because already we have seen third example or the second example it forms no the same thing you can write below now two are over when this is double this will become single when this is double this becomes single resonating structures shift this now this is in the opposite direction now shift this oxygen above the nitrogen is single bond one or double bonded oxygen one more double bonding shift of the bond from here till here single bonded and single bonded now filling the electrons 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 for this oxygen two are already there 3 4 5 6 7 8 for this nitrogen four are there 5 6 7 8 done for this nitrogen same thing eight for this oxygen just like this two are already there 4 5 6 7 Uh, 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 for this oxygen already four are there five uh, four five six seven eight now same thing you will fill for that also i'm not filling it there that please fill it for this also yeah now for nitrogen pentoxide now you have to be careful now how many are there here there are four oxygen comfortably i filled but here nitrogens are only two but problem is there are five oxygen atoms you have to be careful now first exactly write like this n double bond o exactly write the same n double bond o here also write the same here also try to write the same the fifth oxygen try to link it between two nitrogens now when i have to draw the resonating structures draw the resonating structures of this now here this oxygen this oxygen is uh, opposite isn't it now this bond is going to shift here so they'll become Uh, like this adjacent to each other one nitrogen one oxygen one more nitrogen one oxygen one oxygen this this will this pi bond is going to shift here this becomes double bond o this also becomes double bond o now i'm filling lewis uh, the i'm drawing the lewis dot uh, structure of the electrons for this when i have to see this nitrogen 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 satisfied now i have to draw for this already four are there Five, six, seven, eight. For this, already two are there. One and two, three, four, six, seven, eight. For this oxygen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For this nitrogen, just like this, this is also satisfied. Now you are going to copy the same. Already four, exactly. This oxygen, this oxygen is same. So draw that Lewis dot or dots here also. This oxygen, this oxygen is similar. So draw that Lewis dot also. So I'm not drawing for this. Please draw the same electrons. Count total should be eight. But only difference is here odd electron. Example, remember this, please. Very important. So hope you would have understood how to draw the oxide. Let me come back and start with your next concept. That is your nitrogen compounds of nitrogen. That is your ammonia. We'll be studying about nitric acid also. Structures of uh, oxides of nitrogen. So we have already uh, written N two O. So what is this? <coughs> N two O is nothing but <coughs> nitrous oxide. So what is this? Nitric oxide. This is nitrogen trioxide. Three no trioxide. Okay. Now I have to draw the structure. Learn. It's very important. I've already drawn this. Let's see this. So whenever I have to draw, they will directly ask you draw the structure of nitric oxide. So you will learn the formula as well as the name of that particular compound. So nitric oxide basically, when I have to see nitrogen atomic number is seven. <clears throat> so how many we have? One is two. Two is two. Two p three. In n is equal to Uh, two subshell. How much do you have? Total of five electrons. So one nitrogen, one into five. When I have to see oxygen, oxygen atomic number eight, one s two, two s two, two p four. In n is equal to two subshell, I have six electrons. One into six for one oxygen, because one nitrogen and one oxygen are there. So total together, how many do I get? If I add these two, I get eleven electrons. Now I have to place these eleven electrons between them. How will I draw? I am going to take nitrogen in this way, oxygen in this way. I have to draw a resonating structure also for both. Now I need to fill eleven electrons. Let's see. First, try to link both the bonds one and two. So single bond is done. Now after that, two are over. Let's come back. 
3, 4. Done? Yes. <coughs> now, leftover because uh, oxygen tries to share only 2 electrons, isn't it? According to its valency, 2 is the valency of oxygen. So, only 2 are done. Now, I have to fill the electrons. <coughs> now, what will I do? 1, 2, 3, 4. You can write either way. 4 are over 5, 6, 7, 8. Done? Nine, ten, eleven. Eleven electrons. You just see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All the eleven are done. Now I have to show the resonating structure of this. So here, what did I do? Again, try to place the double bond. <coughs> now here you have written uh, three, four oxygen. You can you can shift this here. Let's see. How can I do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11. Simple, isn't it? Here it was earlier uh, in pairs. Here nitrogen has got one odd electron. You can also write it here. Also not a problem. So this is how you know. The total sh electron should be 11. Initially try to write pairs of this. Try to make one electron here odd. Here try to make odd. And then paired up electrons. That's it. Now when I have to draw the structure of nitrogen trioxide. Simple. Now always N double bond O. Now nitrogen N2 O3. One nitrogen is here. <coughs> one more nitrogen is here. Both are linked. Right. I have to arrange three electrons here. So what did I get? First of all, you already got N double bond O. I showed you. Isn't it? 11 electrons. So try to fill one N double bond O. And try to write three. Isn't it? One double bond O in opposite direction. And the third electron, the oxygen, fill it here. So N2 O3. Because this N NO I already got, NO I already got and O. Now fill in the Lewis dot structure. So for this nitrogen, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is stable. Now for this also if I count, 4 are here, <coughs> 5, 6. Done. Right, let's, let's come back and do this and then I will come back to this. Now for this oxygen, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Satisfied. For this oxygen, 2 are already there, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Done. For this nitrogen, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now for this oxygen, already 4 are there, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is how you are going to draw. Now if I have to draw the resonating structure of this, put a double sided arrow. Now what did you do? You have drawn two oxygen, one oxygen above, one oxygen below. Now you can make <coughs> in this way, two oxygens adjacent to each other. Right, and fill in the Lewis dot. Uh, just say I've already shown you. It's the same thing. I've written in opposite direction here, in opposite direction here, both adjacent together. Oxygen is still here only, and fill in the Lewis dot. All the electrons around that.